Applications. Blood pressure and pulse are good. Fine. Mr. Ferguson, uh, we've given you a local anesthetic, so you won't be feeling anything. I must say, though, you're a very lucky man. You didn't get to us a minute too soon. How do you feel? I don't know. Everything's numb. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be. I I'm nervous. No. There's nothing to be nervous about. We've performed thousands of operations like this without any complications. All right, nurse, doctors, let's proceed, shall we? Nurse Bennett, scalpel. Scalpel, please. I want a divorce. <laughs> I want a divorce and I want it now. This is not the time nor the place. This is the time and this is the place. I never see you anymore. You're the first one to leave in the morning and the last one to get home at night. I never get to talk to you. Well, we're going to talk right now. We're going to get this whole thing right out into the open. What is it? Is it another woman? Don't be ridiculous. We'll talk after the operation. I'll oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. With you, it's always later. And later, when you're ready to talk, you'll be busy performing another operation. Or you might be busy in the x-ray department. Or you might be busy with some strange new disease. Oh, no, with you, it's always some silly excuse. Lorraine, I'm in the middle of an operation right now. Can't you get that through your sick head? Would you listen to him? He clams up and he calls me sick. Please, please, lady, give him the scalpel. You men, you always stick together. <laughs> You're disturbing my patients. Wow. Tut, tut, tut. Excuse me for a living. I don't feel well. The pulse rate's high. Huh? Nurse Dawson, would you please get me the scalpel? Yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You don't think they're lying. You can't have them. They're mine. Lorraine, please. No, you can't have them. They're mine. Lorraine, give us those instruments or there's going to be trouble. You want the instruments? All right. 